Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making clam chowder with a little bit of a twist. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so we have four potatoes and we're just going to start by peeling and dicing them into bite-sized pieces. Okay, so we, then we're going to take the potatoes and we want to cut them. Okay, so we're going to put the potatoes in some cold water. And you will see that the water will get really cloudy from the potatoes. We're just going to rinse this water until the water runs clear. Okay, so now that we have our potatoes. Okay, why is this loose? Anyway, so we're gonna start by adding this bacon. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and remove the bacon. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna add onions and celery. I'm just gonna cook this down until the onions start to sweat. Y'all see it pulling up all of that? Yeah. After we let it sweat for a little bit, y'all, we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic. And cook that down for about a minute. Then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of this better than bouillon um, lobster base, okay? Put that in, we don't wanna let it burn. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna add about four tablespoons of flour. You're just gonna work that in, get that raw flour taste off. Then we're gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper. Obviously, if y'all don't like spicy, you can just skip that part. And then we're gonna go in with two cups of chicken broth or stock. Then we're just gonna cook this down until we get all of the chunks. It's gonna start thickening up. We're gonna go in with about two cups of heavy whipping cream. Okay, we got one teaspoon of Worcestershire. Some hot sauce, y'all. We got Louisiana. You gotta mix. Okay, so we have Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and Old Bay. And black pepper. I almost forgot about the black pepper, y'all. Make sure y'all check the description below for the measurements and everything and all the rest of oh, I can't even get my damn words out today, child. Oof. We got our potatoes, y'all. This how they should look remember we cleaned them we're gonna pour this water off and then we're just gonna add the potatoes in nice and easy so it don't splash let me turn it to a jaw so it don't splash me okay then we're just gonna mix that up a little bit okay we're gonna bring this to a boil I'm going with a little salt. Okay, once we get this to a boil, we're gonna bring it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. All right, now that it's boiling, we're gonna add this bay leaf. 
and we're just gonna check on it every I guess five minutes to make sure that check on it every so often to make sure that the potatoes are not sticking to the bottom or the sides put the lid on and let it simmer all right so we're just gonna check it check on the potatoes it's only been about five minutes just checking again y'all some of them getting stuck. Just gotta make sure it's not get stuck. Here's why I'm going with a little bit of all purpose seasoning or seasoning salt. Cover that back up and wait for the rest of the time to finish. Let's check this potatoes. Take the potato, nice and fork tender. I'm gonna let it go for about five more minutes. We're gonna add in our clams. We add our seafood in last, y'all. We're gonna let that cook. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and take out this bay leaf. It's about done doing its work. Now we're just going to taste it and see what the seasonings is at. Good. It could look, use a little bit more old bay. Okay, y'all. We're also going to add some mussels. Uh, these only take a few minutes. Once they open up, they are done. Some of them are already open, but it's okay. We're going to let these steam for about 5 to 10 minutes. So because I added the mussels, I did go ahead and add just a tad bit more chicken broth. And just a tad bit more of um, heavy cream, y'all. Nothing too serious. Just a sprinkle of more. Okay, so we're gonna add some of this bacon back in. We're gonna preserve some of the bacon for garnish on the top of our soup, okay? So don't put all your bacon in here. We'll put the lid back on. Okay, so this is done, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is how it came out. Don't forget in the description below, the grocery list is there. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all wanna cook, what y'all wanna see, what y'all wanna learn. So y'all know I'm at a little red pepper flakes, cause I got to, cause what the? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Got some clam. Mm. Subscribe button!